juice out of all of his projectiles, right. definitely. Like, he makes every one count, especially the uh, exploding can. Alright. There go. There's a down tilt combo. Thing. I like that. He's in disadvantage, and the first thing he does, frame one, discus throw. Wait, that's frame one? That's frame one. Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's why you'll see that move trade, and because he, like, the, the that thing has its own hit stun onto it, that he can act within hit stun, it means that he wins that trade every time. It is, so dumb. it is so dumb. It means that if you don't have a move that can either out prioritize it or just out zone it, then you, you just. And excuse me, Can. You know, exploding Can is just exploding Can, and it kills so yeah. early for no reason whatsoever. Especially if I legit think that uh, Can is. Like, because Can and Snake Grenade, they're both frame one options as well. I think Can is like a million times better. Wait, so Duck Hunt's this and Duck Hunt's uh Can, yeah, those are both frame one. Those are wow. Yeah. So if you don't have any move that's fast enough or that out prior to that, you're pretty much screwed. Well in terms of in terms of can, if you have a combo that's not true, you can always trade with can, right? Um more importantly, Can is used as like an anti edge guard option because he can use it and still like toss it out while he's up here. Right. Because you just spam the B button. Yeah. Alright. And I like that he didn't bother using the Can because that would just gave more Joseph time to uh, set up into a position for an edge guard. Yeah, definitely Duck Hunt is one of those characters that is very unique to the point where you have to control your projectiles. Right. That's unheard of. Alright, quick dash attack up, he's not gonna be enough to kill. And the quick can trade. I feel like oh Joseph had no idea where he was. And there goes uh Joseph's stock fourth It's fourth down into the uh, wild gunman. Oh my god, and just covering all this jump options and you no know, Nintendo just making it Joseph guess anything he does out of shield in shield, wherever he is, and catching his landing with Nair, you no know, Nintendo's just in his mind. Oh, just oh. probably shielding using up smash, and that's going to kill. Yeah, definitely. Duck hunts, uh, side, uh, smash attacks are they hit like trucks and also their multi hit moves. Yeah. I mean, they're one of the like slower hits, but they are strong. Yeah, right? very. Yeah. Like the fact that uh, Joseph almost died uh, at what? I think it was 80? He was at 100 after the hit, so he had a little bit of charge because it was a down B. Uh, punish so maybe like like late 70s early 80s probably dang yeah that can kill early all right all right getting into the second match we are staying ps2 i believe i heard the players converse, uh, con uh conversing that they're just gonna do ps2 the entire set yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, out there, out oh, there. Up B! And oh that'll my take it. Lord. Yep, okay. yep, he got the extension on the platform. And you know what? That, that's how that's how Joseph that's how Joseph uh, rolls. He yep. just goes up there, up there, up there, up there. And gets the trade on that, gets a grab I'll follow up off of it too. No, I could easily see Nintendo bring this back. Oh, uh, oh, oh he still gets it there! I was like, okay, it's, yeah, yeah, he missed it. Whatever. He's after cheese. No. So the Nintendo going for that second there, I, I didn't expect that. Joseph certainly didn't expect that. Honestly, Nintendo was in this mindset where so I was like, if I don't get this spike, I don't know if I'll, if I'll win yeah. this one. So uh, that was actually definitely gonna, it's definitely gonna help him out in this matchup. Uh, All right, here we go. Trying to go for something, doesn't find it. All right, gets it there. Almost getting the forward smash read, but pulling the trigger a little bit too early. Using can once again. It is in the middle of the stage. You can't really use it that much. Goes for jab and controlling can. Oh wait, is it the more that you spam it, the earlier it will blow up? Uh, yeah. So there's after a certain amount of hits, can will blow up, and can will blow up after a certain amount of time as well. It'll also blow up if it hits an opponent like your boss, basically. Oh, so in a way, it's kind of like it's like sacred grenade. It's like Saint Grenade that if instead of cooking it in the hand, you can 
hit it more times to make it explode faster. Getting back up, up. Both players having to get right. back to stage. Ooh! That was a right. very close F smash. Unfortunately, does not get the hit of it, so should have gotten a really early kill right there, but gets a combo off of the can right there. Can can... Oh, F smash is going to kill! Yeah, you were definitely correct about those uh, being very uh, high in launch rate. Yeah. But it's also because they're like, one, they're like one of the slowest ones in the entire game. It's like they have good range, they're a little bit slow, but the thing is that Duck Hunt doesn't throw it out unless he knows he's going to get that punch, right? Because right. he more so relies on down B and uh, neutral B to get like combos. He wants to grab more so than anything, he wants to extend like punish, right? Right, it's more used for hard reading, like yeah. you said, kind of like Bowser's uh, F smash and Tyrus. Oh wow, just definitely avoiding that. Gets a side B into up air, oh my god, that was so much damage right there. These discs. I didn't know that they can combo into each other. Yeah, this guy has so much hit stun to it, and unfortunately it dies to his own can right there, but I mean, yeah, it's easily what makes Duck Hunt like a viable character. Yeah, those discus used to be even more broken, if, if you believe it or not. Wait, in Smash 4? No, in, in this game, they nerfed it. Oh, shoot. I was it to the point where the hit stun was like insane? It was. It was to the point where if you get a hit off of it, you could combo it uh, like a zero to death. Like, Duck Hunt, you saw how you got two reps in it? Duck Hunt used to get like five, like four or five reps in. The can trap! No yep. way! That's it. Yep. If it's not frame perfect, it's not true on Duck Hunt. And that's why Nintendo plays this yep. character. Yep. Because Duck Hunt's can is frame one! Yeah. Nintendo doesn't even deny it. Yep. Can being frame one, Discus being frame one, those are two moves that should not be frame one. Exactly. Can't, discus, yeah, Discus, the, so it doesn't start moving frame one, but the, the shot itself comes out frame one, so if you like throw out a hitbox at the same time, it'll trade. And because the distance has so much hit stun on it when it does hit something, is that you end up losing it because it explodes three times. And so Duck Hunt is able to combo off of being hit, basically. Yeah. But the thing about it is that you have to be horizontal. So if you're coming up from underneath like that, yeah, so if you're coming up from underneath like what Joseph was, it's better to use Can because Can the hitbox will hit him. But if you were to throw out Discus, the Discus wouldn't hit him. So the, the hitbox will come out, but he'll still be underneath it, so it won't hit him. So right. that's why he used cannon in that situation over Discus. But if you're like trying to challenge him on the ground, like let's just say uh, Meta Knight wanted to go for dash attack and he threw out Discus, they would trade and Nintendo would come out on top because the Discus, he can cause it to explode, right? You get hit three times and then he gets a follow up after that while you're in hit stun from being hit by the explosion of the Discus. Yeah.